What's going on everybody, C4 here, welcome to episode 17 of the Ultimate Rebuild series where today we're going to be taking a look at the Carolina Panthers with their new head coach, my QB got swag, Mr. Mr. Cam Newton, and um, man, when you look at this roster, okay, we got kind of pillaged here because we simulated right to the free agency spot, but this is a good team, we took them over because they had the second worst rating in the league, we're going to have a top two pick, which is beautiful, team's good! I mean, this is this is a team I fully expect us to have a big turnaround because we have. I'm not going Cam Newton unless I can't draft a good quarterback. Cam Newton, add him to the list of QBs that just don't do well in this sim. Derek Carr, as we saw in the last episode, Matt Stafford does not play well. Um, Andrew Luck does not play well. These quarterbacks that are good quarterbacks just do not play well in the sim. So we're gonna have to try to look elsewhere. But look at the key pieces. The right side of the offensive line is set. Greg Olson, unfortunately, just retired, which kind of stinks. But our wide receiving core is, we have our two headliners. Funches is young and in his prime. DJ Moore up to an 88 overall, which is awesome. McCaffrey's 91. He's a superstar player. Uh, defensively, really, really strong, especially in the second. You K1 short here. Kind of a different scheme. K1 short playing D and not D tackle. But in the secondary, we got Dante Jackson, 84 overall. We got Levante Taylor, who they drafted last year. He's already an 87 superstar. You got Marvell Tell at a USC, 86 superstar. <clears throat> and you got Luke Keekley. You got Shaq Thompson. Like, this team here is very, very good and not very many holes. Like, I look at what I need to, you know, look as an immediate upgrade. Okay, right outside linebacker. Maybe strong safety. Maybe D tackle. Maybe look at edge rusher or something like that. But they're not, there's no liabilities. Like, slot wide receiver's it. So we are here at the free agency spot, and we're going to try to fill some of these holes in. And first up, we're going with Ryan Switzer, who we just saw in the Raiders rebuild excel from the slot position. He was getting 1,000 yards almost every single season. So there you go, plug and play. Derek Barnett, plug and play at defensive end, coming over from the Philadelphia Eagles. We are the number one bid by a lot, so I fully expect him. And then we just kind of threw a fly here on Rod Johnson out of Florida State. 82 overall, which presents you know, a 7-point upgrade over our current starting left tackle. So... I fully expect to land at least two of these guys, and we're heading into our very first offseason confident that this is going to be a successful re All right, so here we go. Look at our draft before we jump into... Actually, we'll do that first, then we'll do free agency. Exceptional draft from us. We had our opportunity. We took our swing at a QB. 83 superstars, about as good as it's been for us. I've seen people 84, 85, 86, 87 superstar. Still eludes me. It still eludes me, but I will take an 83 superstar, which he made Trevor Lawrence... From Clemson, we're getting rid of Cam Newton. Cam Newton sucks in Madden, so he's gone. Uh, and then we topped it up in the second round with an 81 normal dev guard, which we made Navon Donaldson from Miami. If you watch the Miami Hurricanes rebuild, he was a very integral part of the success we had in that series. So uh, we're adding him. Uh, and then we just left, we had a really good draft class outside of that. We didn't modify anyone else, but in the third round here, we had a 76 quick dev wide receiver, Harvey Williams, out of Florida International. Uh, in the fourth round, we got Malcolm Ellis, 77 quick corner. Don't even really need a corner, but, you know, he's a burner. We got 75 right tackle, 74 tight end, and then I just took a shot here at an unscouted fullback, and he ended up being an 80. So, really, really good draft class for us. We have our hopefully new franchise quarterback, and we look at what we brought in via free agency. We've got Ryan Switzer, who came over from the Raiders, which was the last rebuild we did. We missed out on the tackle, Johnson. But we were also able to add in Mr. Derek Barnett. Come on the defensive end spot. This is going to be a really, really good team. I guarantee we're going to have more than one chomp at the bit at winning a Super Bowl. So let's get into the first year of this rebuild. All right, so as we start our first year of the rebuild, we have, you know, a, a much improved team. Some questions over the left tackle spot. But all in all, I think we are making good strides for one year. But as much as you could expect to be made, um... No defense is actually probably what gets us to the playoffs if we can find that. Really good secondary. So, uh, do you do the most serious roster management we're going to do? We're going to look at Mr. Cam Newton and go, mm, bye! Oh, he's gone. Thank God. Trevor Lawrence era begins. Let's go. My QB guts. All right, midseason point. We don't have a record. It's a mystery. But looking at contract negotiations. Very, very important that Luke Hickley comes back. Very, very important DJ Moore comes back. Same with Trey Turner. Same with K1 Short. Same with Donna Jackson. Eh, Poe could probably go. Ian Thomas is our starter at tight end, but, you know, he doesn't have the dev trait. The overall is replaceable via free agency. So, uh, we'll be throwing a decent amount of money, but the fact that we freed up, like, $70 trillion 
by moving on from Cam Newton. Yeah, we had a little bit of delivery. Um, we're gonna we gonna be fine. Seventy million dollars of available cap. We gonna be good. Uh, well, better introduce yourself to the franchise tag, Mr. Luke Keekley, because you and him in the off season are gonna be having a beautiful relationship with each. At the end of the season, look at that, 11 and five. I I knew it. Three wins a year ago with Cam Newton. I just know the QBs and players that do not work in franchise mode. It's my experience. That's why QB got swag, makes the tough calls, and his Panthers are 11 and five in the playoffs, going to the U.S. Bank Stadium where they stupidly clap all the time. Then they ripped off from Iceland soccer and the eight and eight Vikings. But looking at how well our team is, oh my God, Trevor Lawrence up to an 87 overall. Um, 11 and 5, second in the NFC South, 13 and 3 for the Saints. They were really, really good. Uh, for stats, Trevor Lawrence as a rookie, 3,800 passing yards, 29 TDs to 6 picks. You know, uh, judging off of the current rookie rating records for passing and stuff like that, that's right along the best. That's awesome. McCaffrey's insane, 1,600 yards, 12 TDs. We get 10 TDs here from Ely. Good two headed combination. 79 catches, 1,000 yards, 9 TDs from Moore. 703 from Funches, 806. From a free agency selling Switzer out of the slot, acceptable. 460 and three for McCaffrey. So McCaffrey went over 2,000 yards from scrimmage. He's a monster. Defensively, Luke Geekly is about to get the franchise tag. 111 tackles led the team, uh, sack and two picks on the sack front. However, 15 and a half from K1 Short, 11 from Derek Burnett. We brought in via free agency. Uh, interception six from Levante Taylor, who's been incredible. He's up to an 88 superstar. Four from Von Bell, who was at one point, or pretty much our weak link on the uh, in the defensive secondary. He had a very nice season. Three picks from Anthony Brown, former Dallas Cowboy. Looking at how the yearly awards rounded out. MVP went to Baker Mayfield. There's your cheesy Jacoby Brissett. Basically, any quarterback for the Saints wins MVP. Uh, McCaffrey at nine. Trevor Lawrence, our rookie at ten. That is very nice to see. In the NFC, I went to play the with Jacoby Brissett. Uh, Christian McCaffrey at four. Trevor Lawrence at eight. Offensive player of the or defensive player of the year story went to Willie Briggs, some random guy on the Rams. Uh, K1 Short at number five, Luke Keekley at number ten. Offensive rookie of the year clearly was going to be going to Trevor Lawrence all day long. Uh, we had Dylan McCaffrey, Christian McCaffrey's brother, the new quarterback of the Eagles, because I guess Carson Wentz went somewhere. Uh, Jerry Judy from Alabama. We have Amonra St. Brown of the Eagles, uh, Equinemia St. Brown's brother. Uh, Trayvon Grimes uh, is a real player. Terrence Marshall is a real player. So most of the guys we edited made it. Defensive Rookie of the Year went to Matt Farmer. Nope. Dylan Moses. We got Anthony Cook. Teron Vincent. Anthony Hines. Uh, Malcolm Ellis from our team, even though he's not modified or anything like that. So not so much uh, our created players on the defensive side. But hey, most of them got in. But all that matters is that the Panthers got in. And we're going to be taking on the 8-8 eight and eight Vikings. Because it's only year one of the rebuild, we will just sim it out. We're going to, we're going to be here. We're going to be a perennial playoff contender. So uh, we'll see how well the team does on its own here in year one. And in our first playoff game, we get the job done with a rookie quarterback. 28-9 over the Minnesota Vikings. We'll look at our team. We'll focus on our team. Trevor Lawrence, just not afraid of the spotlight. 235 yards, 3 TDs, no picks. Running the ball 94 yards from McCaffrey. We got DJ Morgan, a touchdown. Two TDs from Ryan Switcher, proving to be a very clutch free agency signing. Defensive side of the ball, we got a sack, seven tackle. Derek Burnett led the team in tackles, as well as getting after the QB. Sack from Shorter, sack from Smallwood. No interceptions on the day, but it was a team effort to get the job done. And now we are up against the Saints to find out who the best team is in the NFC South. That's and there's sad news. A devastating loss uh, for us. But let's be honest, the Saints are always going to be really good. They're always really good. They weren't weren't going to be good. Um, and we got we got blown out. All right. Well, I'd rather get blown out and know that we're not quite there yet than, you know, lose a close one. 41-14. to 14, Rookie QB and all the, all the... Oh, oh. Oh, my God. One TD, five picks for Trevor Lawrence. Change the game plan up. QB got swag. Let the let the run do some work. Come, we just got torched. Mare, hundred some yards. Oof, that is not that is not a pretty game. I guess we'll show some respect here to the Saints defense that got five different picks: Preston Smith, Demon Arnett, Marshall Lattimore, Marcus Williams, Antoine Davis. Yikes! That is that's not how we want to end the year. 
but ultimately where we very well you know could have easily not made the playoffs we, we had good strides so let's get into year two let's just let's just quickly get into year two in the all right so looking at our draft class pretty decent draft class all things considered uh, first round, we left this guy because his name was badass as it was. We got a 78 overall deep tackle named Will Killings from Ohio State. That's 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 an awesome name. That's straight up an awesome name. Uh, but then in the second round, our best pick of the draft, we got a 77 quick dev linebacker, which we made Owen Papo from Georgia, one of the top true freshman linebackers in this year's college football season. That guy looks like an absolute beast. We also hit a 79 right tackle in the fourth round, uh, 75 center. So, you know, not not a bad draft class at all, I'm not gonna lie. This is where, you know, the, the magic of editing. I last played this a couple days ago, so I, I wanna make sure that we went over anyone we signed. We signed this guy in free agency. We got Tavares Wooten, 84 overall superstar, that will be starting at left tackle for us this season. Um, I think that might be all we signed, though, by free agency. I'll double check, you know, just, just going through it all, make sure that everything is squeaky clean. And yeah, that's it. So we just signed one big free agency signing. I'm feeling pretty good. So, let's get into your number two. Get back to the playoffs and make the Panthers great. Uh, oh, my God. I hate this game sometimes. How many, how many more days till Madden 19? We're one and six. Not We've only got better from last season. We're one and six. Um, contract time, Luke Keekley. Yes, we had him on the tag last year. Hey, he's happy to sign. Marvell Tell, yes, need you to come back. Happy to sign. Devin Funches, yes, please. Like the duration. Right, we'll come back, renegotiate with Funches, but those are pretty much the only three players we're interested in resigning at this given time. But one and two. Oh my god, man. Sort, this game has no right, no rhyme or reason. It's just random. It's a hundred percent random if you're all right. Very surprised at a one and seven start that we did not make the playoffs as everyone is not good right now finished four and 12 which puts us with a top five pick one two three four oh, there you go there's that top five pick uh i like said man i don't know we had we had one of the oddest young rookie quarterbacks in the league now he finished 31st in the league in passing touchdowns more interceptions than touchdowns with an improved run game and better options at wide receiver Way she goes. McCaffrey's still really good. 1,300 yards, 7 TDs. We got 7 TDs. Oh, that's the other signing we had. We actually brought in Royce Freeman from the formerly of the Denver Broncos. It'll be a two-edit running attack. Uh, receiving, no one over 1,000. That's not very good at all. Defensively speaking, 146 tackles from Luke Keekley, two picks. We got seven and a half sacks from K1 short, eight tackles for loss. The secondary, a couple. No, actually, the interceptions aren't that bad. But, uh, yeah, man, it's just, you know. It's annoying. Annoying. No other way around it. You to take your lumps. I don't think we had anyone there. Defensive player of the year. Maybe Luke. Nope. Offensive rookie of the year. Nope. Hey, that guy. Random guy. Oh, and Popo on defense. We actually got something. Maybe he actually got the bump to be a superstar dev player. Doesn't really matter, though. At the end of the day, because this is a terrible season. Terrible, terrible season. Um, not really sure what we're going to be able to do because we don't really have anything that needs massive needs. Our wide receiving core is solid top to bottom. We have our guy, we think, at quarterback. We have a very, very good run game. Offensive line, no one below a B grade. We could upgrade tight end for sure. Tight end, strong safety. You're probably the two positions that jump off the board that we have to get better at. And that, man. Uh, I mean, maybe move K1 short to D-tackle. Maybe. Move him back to D-tackle. Maybe that's the only way we can get him a little bit more involved. Even though he was already our, bass, our best pass rusher. Let's see what that does. Does that do anything? Does that help our team look a little bit more dynamic on the front four? Hey, go, no, not at all. So, um, yeah, man. I don't know. Let's see what happens in the offseason. What mysteries of all? Can we pull LeBron to the Lakers? Here? So it's our final year of free agency. So we're just trying to plug our holes without making... You know, going all in and signing everyone, and then when we leave, the Panthers are too overpowered. So we're going to look at who we can bring in veteran Eric Barry at 34 and 85 overall presents a 14-point upgrade on our current starting strong safety. Uh, we have Robert Kimdichie here, who we do plan at his size to move into the defensive tackle spot, where he probably will get a nice little bump. Could end up being 84-85 in our scheme. Uh, then we just get, you know, role players. Bucky Hodges, a four-point upgrade to the tight end spot at 6'6". I think he has 87 speed, good catching. Could be a nice little weapon for the offense, so I fully expect us to be able to sign all these guys. And, uh, yeah, 
I don't know, man. Just, I don't think we're gonna be able to do enough with what was available via free agency in the draft to, to uh, you know, put all of the odds in our favor with the sim. But it looks like right now it's a crapshoot, it's a toss-up. We have a 50-50 chance of in year three making the playoffs and being able to contend and have a little. Run. Maybe, maybe I was a little bit wrong about getting an impact player. Where I forgot we had a top five pick, so. Uh, we're able to select Franklin Atkins, 83 overall defensive end from Oklahoma uh, with our first pick, that 88 block shed. The the finesse moves aren't, you know, the power moves suck, but he's, you know, 246 undersized. Uh, we got a 75 right tackle, 77 guard, a 74 corner, but I think, you know, Atkins probably will start day one at defensive end. I think our defensive ends are Tim Williams, converted linebacker, um, and uh, Derek Barnett, who's been solid for us, so... Uh, Atkins probably will start with Derek Barnett. Hopefully he can get the quarterback. We didn't have any double-digit sack getters last season, and we're going to need that kind of production here to make a Super Bowl run. Let's pop into year three, Super Bowl or bust time. All right, third and final year for us, and QB got swag to make this Panthers team a Super Bowl champion. We have a contending team because, you know, ignoring last year, we were very productive in Trevor Lawrence's first season. He's an 87. He's a superstar. He's one hell of a quarterback. McCaffrey's been the best player of this rebuild by far. Uh, like I said, everyone on the offensive line is above a B. We don't know one. It's like we're very, very well-rounded team. No one on this team is below a B grade. Look at that. All those grades look very pretty. Dude, look at that. Not Dante Jackson a 90. Levante Taylor, 89. I don't know how that happened. Jackson had a massive boost in his dev. He's a normal. Okay. But, um, I mean, I'm fully... We got Eric Berry now. We have extra leadership. If you, if you didn't have enough leadership with Luke Keekley, now you throw an Eric Berry in the mix. This is a team that should get a lot of turnovers in the secondary. I am fully, fully expecting us to make the playoffs. But then again, last year proved that it feels like it's just random. It's just random. So, uh, you know, let's see what happens. Hopefully the, the sim is generous. There we go, baby. Only needed a chance. We were 4-3 and three at midseason. Thought we are going to get just blasted and just have some disappointment. But you know, winning the NFC South. And just to show you again, I feel like when we're down, we're, you know, just to show you, no bamboozle. No bamboozle. This is a legitimate winning record. Oh, my God, that down the stretch. Averaging, Jesus Christ, in our last, like, five wins, six wins, we're averaging, like, 40 points a game. I'll absolutely take that. We caught fire. Look at how we did statistically on the season. Trevor Lawrence, 4,000 passing yards, 43 touchdowns to 11 interceptions. I will take that. Christian McCaffrey's been the best player easily in this rebuild. 1,500 yards, 9 touchdowns. What is he, a 95 overall right now? He's a beast. Uh, receiving no one over 1,000 yards. DJ Moore did have the best season, 71 catches. We'll round that up to 1,000 yards and 11 TDs. Uh, defensively speaking, 140. Ooh, when has that happened? No injuries. A full season where Luke Keekley didn't lead the team in tackles. But Owen Popo, 143 tackles, a sack, and a pick. We got seven sacks from Franklin Adkins, seven from Barnett. We got oh, ooh, seven picks from Dante Jackson, the speedster, out of LSU, playing out of his mind. Six picks from free agency signing Eric Berry. The veteran leadership was great. Four from Taylor, three from Keekley, three from Ellis. As a that is a disgusting secondary. That is a Pro Bowl caliber secondary. Every one of them. MVP went to Deshaun Watson. Carson Wentz on the lines is kind of gross. Uh, I was to play the year in the NFC. Hey, Christian McCaffrey at number six. Trevor Lawrence at number nine. Defensive player of the year went to Christian Miller. Owen Popo at number four. Luke Keekley at number eight. Offensive rookie of the year. Uh, we had no one. Defensive rookie of the year. We had Franklin Atkins coming in at number two. So that's looking nice as we now have the opportunity that we made the playoffs that we can make a run. So... We're going to play all these games. We're going to pop a bear, though. We're just going to play the sim and all that stuff. But I feel legitimate chances that with how on fire this team is in the sim, we're going to bring the Super Bowl to the Carolina Panther fan. All right, here we go in our wildcard game against the Saints. We are massive underdogs. The Saints are an 84 base. We're an 87 base. So, uh, you know, anytime there's that big of a discrepancy, you got to be a little bit worried. But we're 7-7 seven, seven right now. Our team's battling. We're 3rd and 2. We're pop a bear in it. We're going to come in. When need be. And we're going to call upon the best player, the strongest player that we have had throughout this rebuild. And that is Christian McCaffrey, who is, of course, not in the backfield. So it's Royce Freeman, the former Denver Bronco, gets hit and can't do his only job 
which is to get short yardage downs. God, it's embarrassing. Kick the damn field goal. There we go. 10-7, third down alert. We're coming in again. Is McCaffrey in? Third and three? We're not even going to gamble. We're going to go bench. I've noticed this bench play sucked at the beginning of Madden. Now it's like one of the most overpowered plays. Maybe it's always been overpowered. And uh, I just, you know, I'm getting into it now. There you go. Nice quick check down. Move the chains nice and simple as we are trying to slowly creep our way through Saints territory to put this one in the end zone. All right. Again, I just want to get, I don't want to feel what Chris McCaffrey's 96. He's like 99's everything that you want. Let's see if he can take this screen pass to the house. Line up the linebackers on the right side of the field. Don't matter. Don't matter. Oh, we're going to cut across. And we get the first down. Trevor Lawrence actually has a simmed interception right now, which is not the best. But it doesn't matter. We get in for the touchdown. 17-7, 10-point lead. We got a two-minute drill. We're making some moves here. We're going to go. Ooh. Everyone knows I'm one of the best deep ball threats in Madden. Now, I hate the two the clock. Obviously, don't have that on. But we're going to try to go deep right now. And we're going to go inside to Devin Funches. There you go. Too easy. GG no re. Devin Funches. I don't know what that was. 33 yards to the house. This game might be out of reach. That could have been the nail in the coffin. Our defense plays as stingy as they did in the first half. I feel confident. I'm going to sim this one. Ah, we'll sim it. All right, we, let, we let them... We let them kind of get back in it here. They go for it on fourth down. And uh, there's the collapse. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Third and one. For the love of God, give it to Christian McCaffrey. I better not see Royce Freeman in here. It is Christian McCaffrey. We get this first down. Game is over. We get this first down. Game is over. There you go, McCaffrey. Showing the power. Showing the power. And that is it. It should be game over. Watch the sim. Give the ball back to them somehow. Like, how are you not chewing the clock down more? For God's sakes. There we go. Three-point victory. The Carolina Panthers defeat Jacoby Brissett and the New Orleans Saints rivals in the wild card round. 24-21. 131 yards, one TD for Trevor Lawrence. Christian McCaffrey over 30 carries. 239 rushing yards. That is absolutely absurd. Two touchdowns on the day. I haven't seen a running back this dominant yet in the ultimate rebuild series so we are moving on to the nfc divisional round let's get all right divisional round against the cowgirls you know we want to win this one real bad real bad they're terrified right now what christian mccaffrey is going to do to them he they saw the fact that he almost put up half of the way to 500 yards he pretty much had a regular season for a backup running back in one game so they worried but they're up to a seven nothing lead here I don't know why. I, it doesn't affect me here, but why is Chew the Clock always on, no matter what? Very frustrating. We're going to go short. The Switzer wasn't the best scenario. We have Switzer to revenge game for him. He wants it. We're going for it. Let me go for this. Can I go for it? No, I'll kick the field goal, I guess. I trust the coach. I hate Papa Bear sometimes. Sometimes it just does frustrating things that you don't want to do. Yeah, I don't know why Chew the Clock is. That's, is that a bug? That has to be a bug. Hopefully that's not in Madden 19. I have the beta. I should be able to check that out. Oh, look at that beautiful ball. Diving catch. Bucky Hodges. Former quarterback of Virginia Tech, for those of you that don't know. All right, we go bench play. I haven't used Christian McCaffrey much. Uh, we're going to need to you know, get a touchdown here for sure so we can actually establish a run in the second half and not just have to you know, continually throw the ball right there. Gone. Gone. DJ Moore, DJ Moore takes it to the house to pull this game within four. Beautiful. 46 yards. I think in real life, Panther fans are going to be loving DJ Moore. He's a guy I'm targeting in my fantasy leagues for sure. All right, third down. Again, last time we took over on the deep ball, it worked. We went to Devin Funches. We got Funches here, right bumper. We very well might go to him again. I don't know what they have in the secondary for Dallas. Oh, give me time. Give me time. We'll go Funches. We go, but oh my God, Funches, and we got a timeout left. You know, when you think about it, Devin, Fun I should have probably moved Devin Funches to tight end because he was a tight end. I feel like he was a tight end at Michigan. He was in uh, in college, or might have been like a tight end wide receiver hybrid. Either way, that's a big time play. He's getting wide open. We're gonna throw it to Moore, who gets in again for his second touchdown. Go ahead. At the end of the second uh, first half. We're going in with the lead. Exactly what I wanted so that we can let McCaffrey take over in the second half, which is looking like what he's doing. Big field goal. We'll nail that. Go up six. 
Third down alert come in here. We are going to go third and four. Screen pass. I want McCaffrey to get more involved. We've only run the ball 16 times versus, what, 32 last game. It doesn't matter. A guy like McCaffrey doesn't. He's not a volume guy. He's a guy that's just like a big hit. Oh, my God. Oh, let's go, McCaffrey. Clock's running down here in the third quarter. Third down. Come on. Make some damn plays. Why do I always have to come in? Third and one. We're at Ottawa to a run. I didn't realize we were that close. But McCaffrey finished this off. Come on. You're hungry, bro. You're hungry. There's meat on the bone. Look, that's the first down. Ball, clearly. First down. Don't give me some inches bullshit. Fuck off. Can I go for it? Or do I have to kick a field goal? I'm going for this shit. We got Christian McCaffrey. I'm going for it. I'm trusting our defense. A field goal does no good. Dallas will score a touchdown. Oh, I don't like that. Let's do this. Let's do this. Oh, my God. What the fuck was that? That was the stupidest thing ever. Okay, let's go defense. Let's go defense. Let's go offense. Third down alert. Okay. You're putting me in a pressure scenario. That's where we need to go. Third and two. We'll go inside zone run. Pretty overpowered. We can get good blocks here. Come on. They only got, they only got three down linemen. Find your gap. Who is this fucking guy, 58, that just keeps destroying everyone? Jesus Christ. Get me in here. Fourth down alert. Yes. You know what we're doing? We're not going. We're going inside. We're going halfback stink. Something. We can't bounce outside the tackles because we're just getting lit up by whatever linebackers out there. Jesus Christ, so everyone on Dallas has hit stick, I suppose. We're going to go to the left side of the line. That's where the line's a little bit stronger. We're going to go heavy. Look at that. We don't get this. We just don't want it. There you go. There you go, McCaffrey. Gain of eight. Getting the first down. Thing of beauty. Red zone. Red zone. Let's go slant. Something simple. Now the two. I want the two to clock on now. But of course, we don't have it. All right, we got Switzer. It's a revenge game against his former team. We get, Trev we get the instant sack. I literally couldn't do anything. Oh, Madden, you're a bitch. Madden is an absolute bitch. All right, we'll go slants again. So we're in four down territory. Uh, like, what do you do? There's literally nothing I could have done there. I got, he was grabbing onto me as soon as we had the ball. Oh, beat the linebacker, beat the linebacker. There you go, DJ Moore. There you go, DJ Moore. Take it up to the three-yard line. All right, we're going to make sure we turn two clock off. And there's only one way we have to try to attack this. We're going to go C4 special right off the rip. It hasn't worked whatsoever. And every time we've got outside the tackle, our guys got blown up. So we're going to make sure we put two hands on the ball here. This could be very match made in heaven. McCaffrey is designed to run this play. And there you go. The go-ahead. Can our defense hold on for 30 seconds? Not overly confident, but we're a game away from the Super Bowl if they can. They go for it on fourth down. And, of course, there we go. We're going overtime. And I don't think they use a single timeout, which is uh, the sim. But we get the ball first, I suppose. We get the ball first. So, go get a touchdown. It's game over. Throw an interception like we're probably going to do. Game over. Nice little catch there from Funches. 335 yards, two TDs. Trevor Lawrence has been very accurate here today. Been the quarterback throughout his time here with the Panthers. Has struggled with accuracy more so year two of the rebuild. As this is going to be a very long video, apparently, because I'm we're going to we're going to keep it live here. Oh, we should have took that. Man, I'm not gonna lie. For a guy that has 99 ball carry vision, 99 looseness, like agility, all that stuff, I am not making anybody miss in the open space. Oh, go, Bucky Hodges! Go! Go! You're replacing Greg Olson! Oh, my God, he's going to get... Yes! It's over! Let's go, Bucky Hodges! No name. Replacing G-Reg, third leg. And he takes the Panthers to the NFC Championship game. Trevor Lawrence, 400 yards, three TDs. Outdueling Shea Patterson, 95 yards on the day for Christian McCaffrey. DJ Moore was huge, seven catches, 147 yards, two TDs. And there you go. Next game. All right, here we go in the NFC Championship game. It's the first time we're actually like the favorite team. We have a better rating than Seattle. We've been like four or five point underdogs every game. So that means we're probably going to get the shit kicked out of us. That's how Madden tends to work here. 
Uh, scoreless first quarter. Seattle get the go-ahead lead. 7-zip. We are in the red zone here, and I think we're going to try and come in and see what we can do. Go ahead and double slant. Simple slants, you know. We don't need to be too... It's really early in the morning. I don't want to go too complicated. I don't usually run a too complicated playbook anyway. But this is where DJ Moore's been able to do his damn thing. Okay, that happens in real life. You actually know what I'm going to do? We already have a pick with Trevor Lawrence. Oh, okay. I'm going to let them... Let the team actually play this. Be like, there you go. See? Trust them. And they get the turnover. They get the turnover as well after scoring the touchdown. So we'll go FL drive. Three turnovers already for Seattle. Well, it could be worse. And we're the home team, too. We're playing in front of the fans here at whatever stadium this is. Oh, my God, Trevor Lawrence. Oh, Trevor Lawrence, go for it. On the one. Third, fourth and goal on the one. Do you go for it? Do you not go for it? I feel like when you have a play, like the C4 Special in your wheelhouse, and you have your best player excels at that play, you gotta go for it. It might not work, it might work. I'm all right with my decision. Can I cut 43 in game? I'm cutting 43, he's not, he's not leaving the stadium in the bus. He's not allowed in the locker room, 43 is cut. That was the worst blocking I have ever seen in my life. Look it up, still tie ball game, and we get to go ahead. Oh my god, there's lots of turnovers here for the Seattle Seahawks. That is all I'm seeing is turnover city. Kick the field goal, might as well. Keep it 10 points. Seattle's already in fourth down territory early in the fourth quarter. That's never a good sign. But we only have a six point lead. We could get finessed. Make that field goal. There you go. There's the buffer that we need. And there's the clutch two point victory. The Panthers are Super Bowl bound. 224 yards, three touchdowns on the day for Trevor Lawrence. 113 yards for Christian McCaffrey as the Panthers. I don't know if you guys are paying attention to the ticker. We're in a brief time. We were in that game. But we are going to the Super Bowl. And we're going to win it. Obviously. Super Bowl time. And we're going up against the Jets. They're actually not that bad. They're an 88 overall. We're an 89 overall. So it's pretty evenly matched. When you look at the Jets, they do have some playmakers. But... This is definitely a game right out the gate. You feel like the Panthers have an opportunity to contend in. 7-7 here. At the end of the first half, the Jets are able to get the go-ahead. And it looks like they're changing the momentum here. But third down, we're going to come in. As we're down 10, third and three, we're in field goal range. We will take the field goal to make it a touchdown game. But, you know, we want to go for it. To the clock on, as always. We have a turnover, which is something that's been somewhat prevalent. It seems like Trevor Lawrence is throwing like a pick at every game and every time that we've tried to come out and step into it. Uh, Bucky Hodges, who's been a little bit of an enigma for this offense during this playoff push. A nice little reception there. Okay. Get in there. There we go. Gets the touchdown. Pulls it within three. Our defense is struggling. So they regain the 10-point lead. So we're coming in third and 10, clearly in four-down territory. I want DJ Moore just to run the quick slant. And I actually want Christian McCaffrey to pass pro. There we go. Oh, that looks like a stupid play design. Oh, that's a baller play right there by Trevor Lawrence. I give me fourth and inches because we always get fourth and inches. Heaven forbid it's like NCAA and it actually gives you... Um, no, we're not. We're going for it. Everybody's like NCAA, where more often than not, it will give you the first down marker. You know? All right, we got to bounce the outside. We got to get this first down. Oh, there you go. Christian McCaffrey's a stud. 115 yards, two TDs. This is McCaffrey's show right now. But time is our enemy, and we do not want to run the ball that much. Oh, my God. Settle for the fucking field goal. Get the turnover. No, no, let's go for the field goal and then just fucking shit the bet on defense. We lost the Super Bowl. I fucking hate this game. Let's find out who we're doing on the next rebuild. God damn. What the fuck is that? 87 yards in the game. You go 87 yards. Franchise quarterback my ass. We got two. We got three sacks. Oh, uh, at least we made the Super Bowl. All right. God, I hate this game so much. All right, let's find out who's the next. All right, so we'll get at who we've yet to do and who sucks. We've done the Niners. We've done the Colts. We've done the Giants. The Bengals. There we go. That is going to be the next episode of the Alternate Rebuild. 
and it's gonna be the Cincinnati Bengals. So I hope you guys can tune in for that one. Hopefully we can win a Super Bowl. Uh, this is only year two of the next season, so we still got three more episodes worth of, of opportunities. We made a really, really good team, and you know what? Here's going to be the downside of this. We had an embarrassing Super Bowl, but I guarantee for the remainder of this season, so for the next three rebuilds, the, the Panthers are going to be a powerhouse. So, uh, it sucks. But uh, if you guys did enjoy, as always, your first time stopping by, don't be afraid to hit that subscribe button. And until next time, it's C4 saying peace out.